All right, today, I want to talk about the birds and the bees. Now, this is a, it's a daytime show, so when I say birds and the bees, I actually mean birds and bees. But I'm going to talk about all the crazy sex they're having. Because that's what animals do when uh, it's springtime. They mate. It's the same thing Jessica Simpson does. Now, now every... <laughs> Each animal has its own way of mating, and there are some scientists that study how animals mate, and we call them ethologists, or as animals call them, perverts. <laughs> That's what they, they look at animals mating. And uh, so, as you know, I love to watch the Animal Planet, and uh, Animal Planet has all kinds of shows on there, and they're always showing different ways that animals mate, and uh, it's, uh, what's the word, disgusting. And <laughs> now that I've seen it, you have to see it, too. For example, take a look at this. This is a pointer. This is not disgusting yet. It's this, <laughs> this is going to point out the disgusting to you. All right. The first one I want to talk about is the Black Widow. I think we all know about the Black Widow. That's underneath. You have to turn it over to see that it's a Black Widow. That's not on the outside. They, it would have been convenient had they put it on the outside so we knew that to, they put it on. You have to pick them up and go, oh, yeah, that's what it is. Um, anyway, it, uh, here's what it's like being with a Black Widow. Let's say you're a male spider and you meet a, a nice female Black Widow and you go out and you have a few laughs and you bring her back to your web for some fun. <laughs> Soon as it's over, she kills you. <laughs> Unless she likes you, then she kills you and eats you. <laughs> she literally, after they mate, immediately she eats her ex. At least Taylor Swift just writes a song about you. <laughs> The next I would like to speak about is the clownfish. Now, it turns out they didn't tell you everything about the clownfish in Finding Nemo. <laughs> clownfish are all born male, all of them. And then when it's time to breed, one of the males switches sex and becomes female. That's true. Isn't that amazing? The only way you can tell the difference is the female clownfish gets paid half as much for doing the same job <laughs> as the male. And that's the only difference. I think that's fascinating. It's interesting. OK, what's next? We have, uh, oh, that, I'm sorry, that's a mistake. <laughs> Scientists still don't know how that works. That's a mistake. That's... <laughs> the next one, let's move on. All right, this is an octopus. These things are brilliant. If you don't know how smart they are, they really are. And this particular octopus is called an argonaut. Argonaut, I believe I'm pronouncing it correctly. Every octopus has eight arms, every one of them. But this one is different because this male has another arm type thing. <laughs> and there's something special about it. It's detachable. <laughs> it's true. It can detach itself, the thing. And <laughs> it has its own tail, so it swims over to the female so the male never has to move. And you thought your husband was lazy. <laughs> Here's the good news, ladies. Once he uses it, it's gone for the whole year. <laughs> Just me? All right. <laughs> All right. Last but not least, there's the Argentine lake duck. Now, this is a small duck, but the males, let's say, paddle is uh, very long, very, very long. His paddle can be 17 inches. Exactly. <laughs> he literally uses it to catch the female. He can use his paddle as both whip and lasso. <laughs> or if you've read Fifty Shades of Grey, chapter 23. <laughs> And I don't know if you knew this, but uh, we have similarities to animals in our mating rituals. Seahorses, penguins, and Ellen DeGeneres all like to show off by dancing.